Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we are going to look at how we can deploy uh, applications from Google Marketplace, all right? So why would we want to do that? Um, you can always spin up your instance, your own instance. You can start customizing, installing your app, configuring it. Um, but if there is somebody that has already done the heavy lifting for you, then why would you need to repeat it yourself? So for example, if you want to deploy a Jenkins or if you want to deploy WordPress or a LAMP stack or something, you can always do that by yourself. If you want strict control, if you want more customization, more configuration, then you can do it yourself. But if you want to spin something quickly, then you can always go for the apps. Uh, you can always search in the marketplace where you've got, uh, th these are like templates. Uh, still, you can customize it. Uh, when you're choosing a particular template, a particular app that you want to deploy from marketplace, you, you can still configure the type of instance where you want to put in all sorts of things, but it comes uh, pre-configured. The, the software itself comes pre-configured. So that gives you a little bit of um, ease when you are deploying your resources. Okay, so in this video, let's see how we can deploy WordPress from Marketplace. So I'm logged into my uh, Jasmine open source Google Cloud account and I have also have my Gmail opened for Jasmine open source at gmail.com and uh, I'm gonna go to the Marketplace and if I show you my VM instances, I haven't got anything at the moment and um, I've got just the I've just got one VPC. I've deleted the custom VPCs. If I go to where is it? Network services, VPC network, firewall rules. I don't have any firewall. Uh, I've just got one firewall rule to allow um, SSH, and this one it's not needed. I'm going to delete that. That's from my previous video. Okay, so just one uh, firewall rule that allows SSH access to all my instances in the VPC. So I don't have any VPC network, uh, just this one VPC one and I've got two subnets. That's from one of my previous videos. Okay, so no, uh, no instances or anything. So now I'm going to go to the marketplace and I'm going to start searching for, yeah, there it is, WordPress. I don't have to actually search. Yeah, Mar WordPress. Um, you can do Jenkins, you can do lots of other things that if you want. For example, let's look at Jenkins. If I search in the marketplace for Jenkins, it comes up with a huge list of uh, apps available from the marketplace. But let's do this on a different video. Now our aim is to deploy WordPress. Okay, so WordPress, uh, I'm going to go with um, Google click to deploy WordPress multi-site or should I go with uh, Google click to deploy containers no Google click to deploy virtual machine whatever it is okay why not let's go back to the um, marketplace home page where we saw the WordPress yeah Google click to deploy web publishing platform okay if I click on that type is virtual machine so it's going to deploy you a virtual machine okay so you've chosen the app that you want to deploy and what is it that you need to test is if you scroll down here the type of this app is a virtual machine so when you deploy this uh, app it's going to deploy a virtual machine and you can see it's a single VM it's not a highly available VM highly available WordPress uh, but you, you can search in marketplace for WordPress that comes with high availability that will deploy a couple of virtual machines, set up load balancing and so on. And one important thing to note is last updated, uh, it's 29.4 and today is 30th April and it's 29.4, it's, it was last updated yesterday so it's fairly up to date. And if you scroll down here, the operating system it uses is Debian 9 and the package content. So what software comes with this uh, when you deploy this virtual machine, what software comes with it? Apache, MySQL, client server, PHP, WordPress, PHP, MyAdmin and all those things. And other important thing that you need to note is this one here. So how much it's gonna cost you if you were to deploy this WordPress from Marketplace? So usually you will have to pay attention to this uh, first row here. So that's the usage fee uh, that's charged yeah so here it says it's completely free you are only paying for the vm instance you're only paying for the infrastructure you're only paying for the resource that you're using in your google cloud account so vm instance and for the persistent disk you are using 
So when you are to, if you are to run this uh, WordPress single VM um, for a full month, it would cost you thirteen dollars and sixty one cents. Okay, so keep an eye on the uh, pricing, the cost associated with that app. All right, so click launch, and that's all required. And you might want to configure something, tweak uh, settings if you want to. But if if you want, you can just go with the default configurations. Deployment name if you want you can change the deployment name and I'm gonna change the zone to Europe West to Europe West to B C A let's choose C so I'm in the uh, London region Europe West 2 and I've chosen Europe West 2 C as the availability zone and uh, the default machine type uh, for WordPress uh, from this marketplace app is uh, this one small one shared and 1.7 gig of memory g1 dash small but if you want you can uh, change the machine type here administrator email so um just me and open source at gmail.com install php my admin and i'm going to leave everything else the default boot disk standard persistent disk if you want to increase the size of the boot disk you can do it and here is the option to choose which network and which sub network you want and whether you want to assign a static IP address and so on all your networking configuration if you want to tweak it and allow HTTP traffic from the internet um, I've shown you my firewall rules I haven't got any specific firewall rule to allow um, HTTP access but if this is checked then it will automatically create a firewall rule so we don't have to worry about it I accept the marketplace terms and service terms of service and then click deploy that's it all right so we just need to sit back and relax it will take about five minutes to deploy this wordpress and once that's deployed we can go ahead and look at the firewall rule the vm instance and so on so how is it going to deploy so it deploys it using the deployment manager so this is something like if you have used aws it's like the uh, the cloud formation so you can define automated way of deploying resources in your Google Cloud account. So that's using the deployment manager. So all these are Python files here. So once uh, the deployment is successful, we will see the external IP address, which we can visit and the admin URL for the WordPress site. And it also installs the MySQL in your um, in your instance, which we can verify once it's ready um and more about the software so those are the list of packages that it's going to install all right so if i click on this one here wordpress you can see what firewall it's going to add so type is firewall allowed yes uh, tcp port 80 network is what's the network vpc-1 you can see here vpc-1 that's the network and uh, source range is 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 so basically it allows access from everywhere target tag wordpress one dash deployment so this firewall rule applies only to the instance that has this tag attached so if we go and look at the instance that instance will have this network tag attached so that's the that's how the firewall rule and the instance are related to each other and here if i look at the vm instance um, you can look at the type type is instance um, the disk machine type metadata all the details about your uh, VM instance that's being deployed and the tag here WordPress one deployment so the tag gets attached here okay so now I'm going to it's still deploying it but uh, I think it has deployed the VM instance so I'm going to go to the instances and see whether it has deployed it VM instance yep there we go so we've got the vm instance if i click on that one you can see the uh, labels no network tag i'm looking for a network tag yeah network tag wordpress one dash deployment so that's how uh, we can make sure that the firewall rule is attached to this is linked to this instance okay and if i go to firewall rule uh, under vpc network firewall rule so we should have a firewall rule created uh, yep, so that's the firewall rule ingress from anywhere TCP port 80 on on my default VPC network 
and the target tag is WordPress dash one deployment. Yep, it's all looking good. Let's go back and see whether it's completed. No, it's still deploying. Okay, so if you click on this one here, sorry, that one. Once the deployment is complete, we will see all the details here and then we can start um, start to look, look in detail by logging into the instance. All right, so the deployment is successful. Now we can go ahead and try and visit the WordPress site. So that's our external URL. And if I click on that one, um, redirection notice, yep, I want to go there. That's our wonderful WordPress page. That's cool, so it has actually worked. And in my email, you can see that your WordPress solution has been deployed. And at the end of the deployment, you get this email. And if you click this button, it will take you to the deployment page, which is this one here and we can also go to the admin url for that the admin username is my email address and the password is here let's copy the password sorry it's not the full password let's copy the password and visit the admin page the url sorry the email address is just me and open source at gmail.com based in the password yep cool so that's our wordpress admin page i'm gonna close that go back here and we've also got the uh, mysql installed on the vm instance so let's try and log into the instance i can click the ssh uh, button here that will take me to the instance all right, so we are in our instance and uh, you can take a look at the instance cat etc os release so that's debian 9 and if i do netstat minus nltp you can see here 3306 which is mysql so mysql is running sudo system ctl status is it mysql yep mysql is running and you can log into it which do we have mysql client yes we do have and the username and the password is here mysql root user that's root mysql root password let's copy that and go back to the ssh login mysql minus u root minus p based on the password yep we are inside the database show databases that is our wordpress database okay let's log out Cool. I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. That's how easy it is to deploy our... Uh, you can also look at uh, PHP admin uh, page here. It will take you to the uh, PHP admin uh, page. And now if you want to destroy it, you can destroy it from here. That will destroy everything. The VM instance, um, firewall rules, whatever it has created, it will delete it. Okay. So now if I go to firewall rule, refresh. So once that uh, deployment is deleted, this rule, firewall rule will be gone and also um, the VM instance will be deleted. So let's wait for it to confirm that it has, yep, it's shutting down at the moment. Okay, the deployment is now gone and if I go to compute engine and click refresh, uh, yep, VM instance gone and the firewall rule should also be should also have been removed firewall rules uh refresh yep that firewall rule is also gone cool i think that's all for this video hopefully you enjoyed this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this uh gcp learn google cloud compute is an ongoing series and stay tuned for more videos uh videos will be released every wednesday and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye